taking this. have arrived. The book we need should be in here. Hmm. The disaster prophesized for this region may have something to do with the presence of monsters in the Tome Spire. But how inspired is it for Passagean to have utilized such misfortune for his own purposes? Zenoa is a sight to behold. Now is not the time for observation. It's time for action. Purposefully putting monsters in his place is a bit extreme. I don't think this monster will go easy on us. Shame that we must dispense with such an intriguing subject. This do not mess with me! Eat this! Feel free. 
interesting. <gasps> Very interesting. <gasps> mm, yes. After extracting the requisite essence from the components, the saturation level should be... <gasps> yes! I had not even begun to think of that technique. Passagian was truly a genius. Once the substance is soluble, we will have the compound, correct? Indubitably! Then finally the crystallization! It's all right here! The key to our success! The methodology is flawless, but the information is outdated. I believe with some adjustments to the necessary ingredients... I see. It should be possible to procure these provisions. Should we be having this conversation in a monster nest? Careful, Morley. One might say you sound jealous if they didn't know better. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Let them talk about weird science experiments all day for all I care. Fine, fine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Eureka! I believe I have struck upon a method to weaken Dalefos. But first I must consult with Von Boyage. While I discuss the finer details with him, you must gather the ingredients necessary for the elixir. Uh, ingredients? What ingredients? I must be off. Palomina, explain it to them. And there he goes. Do not worry. I know what elements are essential to the execution of this endeavor. Shall we? There are three ingredients that Aish would like us to acquire. First, the croak of a frog. Next, a striped egg, only laid once every thousand years. Finally, the fur of a chatty cat. That's a tall order. Where do we find all that? Didn't Aisha and that other guy talk about all this junk earlier? You know, when Val was looking for the support ghost. Right. I did hear some mention of stuff like that. And I wasn't tuning out the conversation, at least. I think we'll be able to find all of it right here in La Grazzo. Aisha ordered us around, then hightailed it out of here. Though, I guess we are the ones asking for the favor in the first place. Palomina, I had a question for you. How would you describe your relationship with Aish? Do forgive me for forcing you all to toil at the behest of my associate, and with hardly a hello from Aish himself. I suppose that I consider him my trusted tutor. I quite admire his capacity for learning and his passion for attaining knowledge. At times, Aish comports himself like a mature intellectual, and at others, I confess, I consider him like a brother brimming with curiosity. But perhaps what I most appreciate is that even after my ascension to the throne, Aish treated me the same as always. Yes, he is a close companion of mine. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. Morley, you should have asked to talk to her in private or something. Give yourself some alone time, you know? Your plight has stirred the muse within me. I think I'll write a song about you. Don't worry, I'll perform it for you first. What are you two going on about? Please accept my apologies for any affront that Aish may have afforded. I should have warned everyone about his abrasive nature. There you go again, acting like the big sister. Come on, everyone. Let's hop to it. If we split up, I bet we can find all these ingredients in no time. Three ingredients we need for the elixir. We should be able to find them in the area. Better start looking. hidden by the fog. 
Quit being such a scaredy cat, Francine. It's the Merchant Sisters again. They show up in the weirdest places. They have to go where the customers are, don't they? Though, it doesn't look like they're selling anything at the moment. Let's see how chatty we can entice these kitties to get. How can you be worrying about ghosts when there's a whole new market to explore? Remember, Father would be disappointed if we gave up because of silly ghoulies. Easy for Mewtwo to say. Scaredy, scaredy kitty cat. Did somebody order some chatty cat's fur? Uh, thanks, Jalei. Note to self. Take a look at the Merchant Sisters' wares later to make up for that runaround. Sorry for that. Incidental imposition. Oh, no, no. I, I should apologize. Molly and Palomina's faces were bright red. I hope they didn't catch anything. Okay, the fur of a chatty cat, the croak of a frog, and a striped egg. That's everything. Good work, everybody. All that remains is to return the required items to Von Boyage. So where is this Von Boy who's it? Huh? Oh, I remember. Von Boyage is the person who gave me the giant's fork. Let's go talk to him. Time to pay Von Boyage a visit and drop off these ingredients. Here's hoping this does the trick and helps us weaken Delafos. Yes! Taking this. Sorry to intrude, Von Boyage. We've, um, got a request to ask of you, I guess? <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Ace already told me all about what you fellas are up to. I have finished the necessary preparations, so leave it to me. <laughs> I know the fastest, neatest, and bestest method. 
remember, use my inventions at your own risk. What good is genius without a bit of danger? Come, come, pass the components for the torpedo to me. Oh, that's what I named it. Clever, don't you think? Ha, I see you have all three. Now, it's my turn. This little beauty will solve all your problems. And if it doesn't, no returns or refunds. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's one completed torpedo for you. I can finally get Hina's core stone back. Hmm, you know. Inventing is full of trial and error, but that doesn't mean making mistakes is a waste of your time. A mountain of past failures is a testament to your conviction. You learn from it and move forward. It's easy to abandon your efforts and stop trying. What's hard is continuing to do what's necessary for you and yours. So don't give up. That torpedo looks dangerous. Hopefully it's enough. I better get it to Ish soon. Taking this? Congratulations on your success. You took your time completing the experiment, but better late than never, I suppose. Well, sorry. Please give me the torpedo. Yes, quite intricate. A prime example of Von Boyage's handiwork. So, what do we do with it? Delafos' power is sealed away together with the Benevadon at the top tier of the Tome Spire. That is where he will appear, so that is where we must head him off. With Corpedo in hand, we will lie in wait until Delafos arrives. We then use our secret weapon before he has a chance to revive the Benevadon. Having reviewed your fighting capabilities thus far, I believe you will have no issue ensuring that the man comes into contact with the Corpedo. What's supposed to happen when Delafos touches it? Upon contact, the device will disperse a toxic deluge. Though it will not kill him, the pain should be at an untenable level, slowing his advance. Golly, that does sound dangerous enough to qualify as banned knowledge. Indeed. Why, that ancient text described the original torpedo as capable of destroying an entire battalion in minutes. Whoa, be careful with that thing. Yeah. No kidding. Thank you, on behalf of the Alms, for all your assistance, Master H. We are in your debt. Wait until after the mission is deemed a success before you thank me. The torpedo may not even work. However, time is of the essence. Let us make haste to the top of the Tome Spire before Delafos beats us to it. What? Already? <laughs> Would you rather wait? Every moment we waste is an opportunity for Delafos to regain his power. Now is the time to strike! Hmm. Hmm. No, it can't be! Delafos? Here? You were supposed to go for the Benevadon! Hmm. 
More bumbling attempts to interfere, I see. I had not calculated for this. Stay back! You. You would dare. Cerulea! <laughs> my heart, my Cerulea, I will never surrender! Cursed goddess, how long must you make me suffer? Delafos, you were once lauded as a hero among men. You received the favor of the goddess of mana, <clears throat> wielded her weapon against the monster menaces, and saved the world. Why oppose her now? Please tell us, what is it that you wish to gain? What could the annihilation of the Goddess of Mana possibly accomplish? I do not answer to pests like you! He got away. Hina, I'm sorry. Telephos was meant to head for the Tome Spire. I had it all planned out to the minutest of details. And yet... Don't look now, but Telephos already woke up the Benevidon of Darkness! I know this wasn't the plan, but we gotta go to the Passagian Tome Spire now. Please! Wait. Take me with you. Please. What? Did you think we'd leave you behind? No, but if you refused, I would stay. So now you're willing to listen to reason. Did that fight knock some sense into you? I don't... I don't know. Apparently, I know nothing. I have accumulated knowledge from all corners of the world. Yet I do not understand this feeling. But I think you are the key. Thoughts? It's okay. You can come with us, Aish. You're our friend, right? Yes. A... Uh, friend. Thank you. There you have it, Master Aish. Delafo still has enough power to unleash a Benevidon after that? We gotta stop it before the scholars in the archives get hurt! In the past, when I first attempted to enter the Pasadian Tome Spire, I found myself overwhelmed by the monsters within. After you arrived, 
I assumed this was the perfect chance to try again. With the Soul Guard and Alms protecting me, I would be free to search the Spire to my heart's content. I called you friends, not out of feeling, but to gain unfettered access to the knowledge within these walls. I used your kindness. But now that I stand here, on the eve of battle with a Benevidon, I find that I want to prove myself useful. I am not here for books. I am here to help my colleagues. It took me this long to realize it. Hard to believe that arrogant scholar from before has made such progress. Uh, arrogant? Come now. I would say discourteous at worst. I am so glad to see you both getting along. Friends must fight a common foe, not their fellows. Yep, we're all one big happy family now. Come on, Val Julay. Let's leave him to it. Yes, sirree! Yep. Is the aura of a Benevidon if I ever felt one? Does the Benevidon of Darkness actually make things darker? I can't see a thing. We don't know where it might be hiding. Be on your guards. Some pep in your step, Palomina. Is it about Molly and Ice? Precisely. I'm relieved to see their association take a more amiable turn. That's amiable? Hmm. I guess anything is better than where they were at before.
Now, allow me to congratulate you on that stirring display of martial aptitude. You mean against Delaphos? I barely need a scratch, but you were a big help. Please, I am humbled to have made a difference in all. Torpedo wasn't enough to take down Dela. Ah! Uh. Oh. Enjoy taking jabs at others, Ace. Like to see people squirm. Is that it? Squirm? <laughs> Hardly. I have no firm opinion about purposefully annoying people for the sake of it. Though I do find conversations with Morley particularly entertaining. Ah, so you are trying to stir up trouble. Can we do that? <laughs> Would Delafos be close to where the Benevidon was sealed? Hard to say. 
He might not even be in the archives anymore. But then, what am I gonna do about my promise to Hina? <sighs> Gotta keep moving forward either way. Now's not the time to give up. Uh. Here. 